Sure, we're on the brink of a change. I can tell you that right now. Um, this year, we had um, I hosted a open forum um, where Ashley helped us a lot at that open forum, and we had um, almost a hundred students present at that forum. And we had um, the sheriff, the county sheriff there. We had university police. We had Columbus City Police, uh, all present to field questions from students. We heard personal statements, personal testimonies, and I've met with and followed up with many of those students to hear their stories. Um, and we've written letters to the county. Furthermore, we've met with them individually. I've sat down with the county sheriff and expressed student concerns. Um, ben and I have sat in a meeting where all of the university administrators also sat with the county leadership. Um, and then following that, what we're asking for is that um, police officers are not mandated to send our students into jail. We should not have mandatory incarceration as an element of that program. We should be able to cite, be cited. Um, a lot of students, you hear personal stories that they were not drunk um, when they were arrested. They simply had a cup in their hand and they were underage. Um, and the, the defense from the county sheriff was that um, we're taking students out of an unsafe environment and putting them in a safe environment. And for anybody that's ever been incarcerated or in jail, they can strongly say that that is not the case. Um, they feel more unsafe in that environment. So what we want is, is citations rather than mandatory incarceration. Um, and we'd also like to see in the future um, that these officers are uniformed. Um, that is not a breach of our security that they are uniformed. It is simply a, a understanding that when they walk up on their property, I know who's walking onto my property and it doesn't look like a stranger. Well, the biggest problem with the STOP program is that it, it has very few elements that are actually good. Um, we, we don't want it to go away because if it goes away, another unit will pick it up and start arresting people for underage drinking all over again. What we want to do is work with the county sheriff's department and the county commissioners who are funding it to change the way it operates. We want to get rid of mandatory arrest. Uh, students that do have to be arrested, we want them to be held and processed on campus. We don't want them to have to go downtown and be strip searched and put in a holding cell like normal criminals are. And we want to, we want to really make sure that while the law is enforced, we want to make sure that police are prioritizing protecting students instead of arresting them. Brad and I have a lot of experience working with elected officials as well, so we think that we, we really bring you know, a good set of experience to the table to lobby those interests on behalf of the students.